Donald Trump's former campaign manager's 47-month jail term seen as lenient file photo, former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort departs from U.S. District Court in Washington, U.S., February 28, 2018. Reuters, Yuri Grip is file photo the first criminal case against Paul Manafort exposed a decade-long fraudulent attempt to hide tens of millions of dollars from U.S. authorities but his conviction has taken on broader significance given his relationship with Donald Trump and what he might know about the U.S. president. Mr. Manafort's initial term of 47 months imprisonment will likely stretch on Wednesday when he is sentenced in Washington on separate charges of witness tampering and conspiracy. As Mr. Trump's former campaign manager he is the highest profile figure to be jailed since the 2016 election that brought the former to power. Last week's sentencing has sharpened attention on the activities of special counsel Robert Mueller, under whose inquiry Mr. Manafort was charged and who is soon expected to conclude a report on whether there was collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign. Mr. Manafort's jail term is minimal compared to the 19 to 24 years that the Mueller team had sought under federal sentencing guidelines. Many legal experts viewed the sentence as lenient, contrasting it with much longer periods of imprisonment given to non-white criminals and those who commit so-called white-collar offenses such as money laundering and fraud. Although Mr. Manafort was charged with offenses unrelated to possible collusion with Russia, the jail sentence, so far, is the longest handed down to any associate of the president. In explaining his decision, Judge T.S. Ellis said the 69-year-old veteran Republican political consultant had lived an otherwise blameless life but those remarks were overshadowed by Mr. Trump who falsely cited the judges saying the case had proved that there had been no collusion with Russia. Former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort appears for sentencing in this court sketch in U.S. District Court in Alexandria, Virginia. Reuters what Mr. Ellis actually said was that Mr. Manafort jailed for hiding $55 million that he and associates received from Ukraine for political consulting work was not before the court for any allegations that he or anybody under his direction colluded with the Russian government to influence the 2016 election. After sentencing, Mr. Manafort's lawyer Kevin Downing said the judge had outlined that his client was not involved in collusion with Russia but he did not address whether other members of the Trump campaign team had been. The U.S. president's increasingly politicized condemnation of the Mueller inquiry, he calls it a witch hunt, stands against half a dozen convictions already obtained. Mr. Manafort's former deputy Rick Gates reached a plea deal with the special counsel's office and is awaiting sentencing. Former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, convicted of lying to the FBI about his contacts with Russia's ambassador to Washington and other officials, also awaits sentencing. He is believed to have since cooperated with Mr. Mueller's team. George Papadopoulos, a foreign policy advisor to the Trump campaign, also admitted lying to the FBI and spent 12 days in prison, having been the first person convicted under the Mueller probe. Another Trump associate, the flamboyant political advisor Roger Stone who is currently silenced by court decree, is awaiting trial. George Papadopoulos, convicted, sentenced to 14 days in prison. A foreign policy advisor to the Trump election campaign, he became the first advisor to plead guilty of making false statements to the FBI. Sentenced to 14 days in prison on September 7, 2018. Michael Cohen, guilty, sentenced to three years in prison. Donald Trump's longtime lawyer pled guilty to campaign finance and tax violations, as well as lying to Congress. EPA Rick Gates, guilty, awaiting sentence. On February 23, 2018, the political consultant pled guilty to conspiracy against the U.S. and lying to investigators. He struck a plea deal and testified against Paul Manafort. EPA Michael Flynn, guilty, awaiting sentence. On December 1, 2017, Donald Trump's former national security advisor pled guilty to willfully and knowingly making false, fictitious and fraudulent statements and representations to the FBI and agreed to cooperate with the Mueller investigation. Reuters' Roger Stone, charged, awaiting trial.
The self-described dirty trickster of politics has been a longtime Republican consultant since the days of Ronald Reagan. He has now been indicted on one count of obstruction, five counts of false statements and one count of witness tampering. He is yet to stand trial. AP Wednesday's sentencing of Mr. Manafort is due to take place in the court of Judge Amy Berman Jackson. The charges carry a maximum 10-year sentence. It was Judge Jackson who ordered that the accused go to jail last year after he attempted to tamper with witnesses in the case. In a sign of the increased political stakes over the jail sentences handed down to aides to Mr. Trump, the conviction of Mr. Manafort, who lied and reneged on a commitment to cooperate with Mr. Mueller's inquiry, has renewed the prospect of the president granting him a pardon. Having previously castigated Michael Cohen, his personal lawyer for a decade, as a brat for furnishing the Russia inquiry with information about Mr. Trump's contacts with Moscow, the U.S. president went further on Friday, accusing him of lying under oath to Congress about seeking a pardon. That tweet raised questions about why Mr. Trump did not offer such a claim when Mr. Cohen testified to Congress more than a week earlier and called the president a liar, a con man and a cheat. Mr. Cohen countered by saying the president was adding more lies to his past denials and subsequent admissions that during the election campaign two women had been paid off having said they had affairs with Mr. Trump. Mr. Cohen, who himself is facing jail, supplied Congress with a copy of the check that the president wrote him in reimbursement of the settlements with the two women, Playboy model Karen McDougal and adult film star Stormy Daniels, as well as other documentary evidence to back up his version of events. Updated March 10, 2019, 11.55 a.m.